hello out there welcome to this tutorial it is linear inequalities in one variable so in one variable means we are dealing with an inequalities with only one unknown we take our first problem solve the following inequalities and represent each result on a line graph so we have a uh, a 3x plus 5 greater than 2x plus 8 b 2 into x minus 4 less than or equal to 3x plus 2 so we start the solution of the problem starting from uh, problem a we are going to group the terms with x on the left hand side of the inequality and the constant terms will be grouped to the right hand side of the inequality so i have a 3x here minus 2x this two here is positive the 2x here is positive crossing the inequality sign to the left hand side it becomes negative so we have it as negative 2x then greater than we already have our 8 on the right hand side taking this positive 5 to the right hand side it becomes minus 5 so 3x minus 2x gives a uh, x greater than 8 minus 5 gives a uh, 3 so x is greater than 3 now we are to represent the result on a line graph so we draw the number line this is the number line and uh, x is greater than 3 so we come to 3 draw a circle at the top of 3 this is not going to be shaded because it is just greater than not greater than or equal to so it will not be shaded and uh, where do we get the direction this is greater than here you can draw the symbol and draw line so you have the arrow that will give you the direction where the arrow is going so we have the values of x along that uh, direction so we go to b part of the problem problem b we are going to expand the brackets here 2 times x gives a uh, 2x 2 times negative 4 gives negative 8 then less than or equal to 3x plus 2 so we again collect the terms with x to the left hand side of the inequality and the constant term to the right hand side so I have a 2x this 3x coming here becomes negative 3x less than or equal to we already have 2 on the right hand side this negative 8 going to the right hand side becomes positive 8 so 2x minus 3x gives negative x less than or equal to 10 2 plus 8 gives 10 so here we have negative x on the left hand side so we are meant to have positive so we are going to divide both sides by negative 1 since we are dividing by negative this sign will change to greater than it is less than or equal to now it will now change to greater than or equal to so dividing this negative x by negative 1 we have a x greater than or equal to negative 10 it has changed to greater than because we have divided by negative so now drawing this on a line graph we have uh, our line graph here so here is the negative 10 draw the circle we're going to paint the circle because the symbol here is greater than or equal to so it's a double line so we shade the circle and the direction is to the right so we draw the arrow to the right that gives the values the range of values of uh, x uh, that's the solution of uh, problem one we go to problem two for problem two we have to solve the inequality x over two minus one whole number three over five greater than three over five plus 3x over 2 b show your result graphically c list five greatest values of x so 
we start the solution of the problem so here we are going to change this uh, mixed fraction to improper fraction so we have x over 2 minus 5 times 1 gives uh, 5 plus 2 that gives 7 so we have it as 7 over 5 greater than 3 over 5 plus 3x over 2 now we find the LCM of 2 and 5 so we are finding the LCM of 2 and 5 if we find the LCM of 2 and 5 we have it as a 10 we multiply every fraction by the LCM so we carry that one out there the LCM is a 10 so multiply by x over 2 so 2 here gives a 1 2 here gives a 5 5 times x gives a 5x so we have the 5x here again we multiply the 7 over 5 by 10 so 10 times 7 over 5 5 goes here 1 5 goes into 10 gives 2 2 times 7 gives 14 we have a 14 here then greater than again we multiply 3 over 5 by 10 that's 10 times 3 over 5 5 goes here 1 5 goes here 2 2 times 3 gives a 6 so we have a 6 here and the last one is going to be 10 times 3x over 2 2 goes here 1 2 goes here 5 so we now have 5 times 3x to give us 15x so we have it as 15x so we now have the inequality transformed without fractions so we now collect the like terms this is 5x this guy is coming here minus 15x so greater than 6 6 is here bringing this guy here it becomes plus 14 so 5x minus 15x gives negative 10x greater than 20 this is greater than 20 here we are going to divide by negative 10 so since we are dividing by negative 10 this sign will change so negative 10x divided by negative 10 will give us uh, x less than 20 divided by negative 10x gives negative 2 so we have it as a uh, x less than negative uh, 2 we are going to draw this that is the b part of the question we draw this on a line graph so because we have to show your result graphically so we draw it on a line graph this is our line graph we have this x is less than negative 2 so we come here so this is just circle without painting because this is just single symbol less than so the direction is to the left so we draw our arrow to the left this is the graphical representation of the solution of this problem now see we are to list five greatest values of uh, x so to list five greatest values of x we start from this is not inclusive in the values of x so we start from here negative 3 negative 4 negative 5 negative 6 and negative uh, 7 these are the five greatest values of uh, x so the five greatest values of uh, x so mm, and uh, that's the end of the solution to this problem so we go to problem uh, 3 so problem 3 we have to solve the inequality and represent your result graphically 5x minus 1 over 3 minus 1 minus 2x over 5 less than or equal to 8 plus x so this is extracted from a WAIC so West African Examination Council so here we are going to solve and our solution again we remove the fractions we remove the fractions here so we look for the LCM of 3 and 5 which is 15 so we now multiply every group by 15 which is the LCM 
we multiply this group by 15 multiply this one by 15 multiply the right hand side by 15 so we go this is 15 times this first fraction here minus 15 times the second fraction less than or equal to 15 times 8 plus x so we now simplify 3 goes here 1 3 goes into 15 gives a uh, 5 so we now have 5 into 5x minus 1 then 5 goes here 1 5 goes into 15 gives 3 so we have minus 3 into 1 minus 2x less than or equal to 15 into 8 plus x so we expand the brackets so in expanding the bracket i use this 5 to multiply everything inside the bracket so 5 times 5x gives 25x 5 times negative 1 gives a uh, negative 5 we are using this negative 3 to multiply everything inside these brackets so we have negative 3 times 1 gives negative 3 negative 3 times negative 2x gives positive 6x then less than or equal to 15 times 8 gives uh, 120 15 times x gives 15x so what we do now is collect the terms with uh, x so I have a uh, 25 x plus 6 x then minus 15 x this uh, 15 x is positive here coming to this side it becomes negative so less than or equal to we already have 120 on the right hand side I take this negative 5 there it becomes positive 5 and the negative 3 becomes positive uh, 3 now we simplify both the left hand side and the right hand side 25x minus 15x gives 10x plus this gives uh, 16x less than or equal to 128 120 plus 8 128 dividing both sides by 16 I have x less than or equal to 8 x is less than or equal to 8 128 divided by 16 gives 8 so we use calculator to simplify that now we represent our solution graphically so representing our solution graphically you mustn't start from zero when you draw your line graph it's not a must to start from zero so I just make sure I accommodate the 8 here so I draw circle on 8 or shade it because it is double here less than or equal to and the direction is to the left so we have the direction to the left and that gives the range of values of uh, x so we have done justice to problem 3 so we go to problem 4 in problem 4 given that x is an integer list three list values of x for which 2 over 2x minus 3 less than 3 over x minus 1 and we are going to solve this problem um, like uh, in linear equations you can cross multiply also here we can cross multiply so what we do now is 2 times x minus 1 uh, less than 3 times 2x minus 3 then we expand the brackets 2 times x gives 2x 2 times negative 1 gives negative 2 3 times 2x gives a uh, 6x 3 times negative 3 gives negative 9 so we collect the like terms so we have a 3x minus 6x less than negative 9 plus 2 so we have 2x minus 6x giving us negative 4x less than negative 9 plus 2 gives negative 7 you can't just say minus cancel minus oh god no this is inequality this is inequality so what you do is divide 
both sides by negative 4 because we are going to divide by negative 4 this less than sign we change to greater than sign so we start from the left hand side negative 4x divided by negative 4 gives x we said this sign we change to greater than negative 7 divided by negative 4x gives 7 over 4 so we now change this one to mixed fractions so x is greater than one whole number 3 over 4 one whole number 3 over 4 but to list three list values of uh, x um, in listing that I want us to draw the number line from the number line we'll be able to get the integer values of x that's the whole numbers uh, representing x so 1 3 over 4 is between 1 and 2 this is half this is 3 quarter here mark it out no shading direction of the arrow is here now the three least values of x will be taken from under this arrow and towards the direction so we have it as a 2 3 and uh, 4 2 3 and 4 so the values continues but we can only get the three lists because the greatest value is at infinity so that is the solution of problem number four and uh, this is the end of this uh, section of linear inequalities in one variable till we come your way again please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Unilab Resources, like and share this video. Goodbye.